Hello everybody, it's me Zanamara right here, and today I'm going to be just talking about the YouTuber tag that I have. As I said in the last episode, I wanted to just take an episode to talk about it and stuff like that. And right now I'm going to be playing the Cupid class because now I have access to the three classes that I couldn't play before. The Cupid class, the, uh, what is it called? Wolf class, and Snowman class. I always forget about the Snowman class. But yeah, I'm super excited to play the uh, Wolf class a bit more. I just love the class. I played it a bit when it first came out. And it was available to everybody, which was just kind of weird. And yeah, it's really fun. I played it a few times. I just really enjoy it. This present got my bow, but actually Cupid is just so super effective against presents because the Cupid's bow doesn't have infinity. It just says knockback. So right now, he is a useless weapon. So yeah, the Cupid class is just really awesome. I also played this a little bit for when it first came out. And it's just really, really cool. It has a triple jump. And its bow doesn't really do anything extra, oh, except it causes a few explosions. So there's no uh, like fire like on gas or anything like that. But there are explosions, which have an area of effect. So you can get a little bit of um, extra explosions uh, range when you're firing the bow. But the thing is, it only has 30 arrows at the start. So you're going to have to be careful. You can't just bow spam up close. And the other thing is, now, it didn't always have this. But you used to be able to um, only have your 32 arrows. But now, you can actually regenerate your arrows over time. So if you just wait like a minute, I think. It's 30 seconds is one arrow, I think. You can regen your arrows in that amount of time. And you see this double jump? This double jump is just so good for... Um, horizontal gain. A lot of high jump classes like Ender Dragon and uh, Seth playing and stuff like that, they have really good um, height, but it can be very hard to jump uh, across stages like this. I don't think I can. Oh no, he's eating a gold apple. But I don't think I can make that jump as Ender Dragon. So this jump is just probably my favorite uh, jump out of all the characters. It just gives you so much mobility. It's just awesome. So this has actually been one of my favorite classes for a while. I could play it briefly when it came out in February because of a glitch or something. Uh, same with Wolf, it was available to everybody for a short period of time. Oh, did you see that arrow spike? That was awesome. But anyway, I didn't record as that because I actually didn't have a channel back then. Well, not a successful channel at least, so... I didn't really need to record with it back then, so... Oh, three shots. I was hoping to make four shots in a row. Oh, that was so close. Alright, so I gotta, uh, survive. Uh, my commentary hasn't been that good right now, because I've just been focusing on the fight right now, so that is, uh, something I have to apologize for. I can get a little bit quiet when I'm trying to, uh, just focus, and I need to help my partner here. And that guy just spammed me with all of the... Oh, that was nice. I'm just gonna edge guard here. Did he just twal- Okay, yeah. I thought he fell into the void. Uh, the good thing about Cupid is that it takes almost no knockback because of its uh, triple jump. Knockback is just negated by double jumping, but even if you only have one double jump, you can still be knocked back quite a bit after your double jump, so it leaves you very vulnerable. But there's actually less chance of- oh, that snowball almost hit me. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Why am I apologizing to him? He can't hear me. He doesn't know what I'm saying. So anyway, this is just such an anti-knockback class, that's why I'm hoping the present survives. Because if it gets my knockback bow to fight with, it is just so screwed. Because Cupid is just probably the single best anti-present class. As opposed to things like Dark Sethling, which are the best present class. I'm pretty sure I didn't hit him there. Oh, that was good. I just killed him with my knockback one though. He was just that low from the arrows. So the arrows actually are just a huge help. I actually do kind of like the particles, but it can be a little bit annoying. But the explosions it's themselves don't actually do a lot of extra damage. It's just mostly for um, area of effect. I have to just type that real quick. I don't want to just ignore him. Alright. So this is actually just overall a very, very, very nice class. And it's probably one of my favorite classes right now. 
but also because it's a new class and I haven't played it in a while, so there's that. My shots are just like the worst right there, I couldn't even hit him once. Okay, this is ridiculous, I need to just focus. My focus needs more focus. Alright, this ocelot is uh, really good against both classes in general, though, because of its per attack and its speed. So, I think it's going to be a little bit hard to um, fight against it first, but I think the present actually is going to be able to do it for me. Like, if you'll see there, I'm not sure if you noticed the numbers, but the um, explosion actually did a little bit of extra damage to him. Uh, so... Sorry. So, yeah, the explosions are... Just a tiny little add-on. Uh, as opposed to things like Ghast, where the fire can do two hearts of damage in time. If you could... I know how loud the Institutes are while I'm talking, so I don't want to talk while the Institute is um, going so you can't hear me. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, not a huge um, advantage, as opposed to something like Ghast, which just has this um, huge, huge, like, two... One or two hours of damage if it hits you with its bow. It's just a tiny little advantage in damage. Oh, dang, that present just almost got him right there. But yeah, some of my shots have been missing, but the damage themselves have actually um, hit the ocelot, so that's always nice. Alright, so this is just such a long match. Uh, I think if I can kill him once, I'll flawless, but this has just been such a long match. I'm not sure how entertaining this is going to be. Alright, uh, my goal here is to not get killed. And this is nice, I will take this. Alright, these arrows I know do a ton of damage because of the leather armor that he has. Reading him like a book. There we go, there we go. Alright, I just predicted him really well there. And now, my weapon will just be a very bad weapon for him. Because Present itself only has one arrow in its inventory, because they didn't account for um, bows not having infinity. So this is just basically an extreme anti-Present class. I feel bad about this, but, you know, it sucks. This is literally shooting fish in a barrel. Well, not literally, but close enough. You know, let's even this course. I'm just gonna fist fight with him. Gotta get them crits. Oh, I thought I would get him off the edge there. Come on, this is extreme boxing. Oh, he's gotta be low. He hit me, uh, I think only a few times compared to the times that I hit him. Dang, I was just going crazy on that. Alright, so even in a fist fight, I think I have the advantage. But, um... But yeah, uh... This is just gonna take a little while, I guess. So, this has been like a 10 minute match, so... Uh, hopefully the next matches will be a bit quicker, otherwise this episode is just going to drag on. He's not the only one with the slow balls, is he? I want to get him next to an edge. This edge. I'm going to just push him off this edge. Come on, into the edge with you! No! This triple jump, though. I suppose, I suppose it's more of a um, uh, double jump, because the double jump itself is a double jump. So this is more of a triple jump than a double jump. Because I think it's qualified as a triple jump, but I think it's more of a double jump. This double jump is the basic jump for me, so I think of it as a little bit differently in terms of terminology, I guess. So that is what it is. It's a little bit weird. I might confuse some people. And this guy's just not dying, but this is a very entertaining fist fight. So, yeah. <sighs> this is gonna take forever. This episode's been so long as it is. 
so Jesus, this fist fight is just meh. Don't you run away. I will use my bow if you run away. Oh no, 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 don't go to the edge, no. Okay, I thought he was gonna kill himself. I should have been able to kill him there, actually. Gosh, this is just... There we go. Come on, I gotta kill him here. There we go. That has just been so long, I don't know if I'll be able to upload that or not, but, you know, yeah, I might, I might not. Uh, so, I'm just going to try to get into another match in Mushroom. And I'm going to be playing the Wolf class here, because why not? Alright, the Wolf class, um, for those of you who don't know, has a Sharpness 3, Knockback 1, Bone, for its primary weapon. And as its secondary, you have a uh, Raw Beef, I believe, that can summon two Baby Wolves that will be tame. So, it's pretty interesting. The wolves can help. They do, I believe, 6 damage, minus 6 damage. Uh, so, it's basically a stone sword. While having two mini stone swords running around, killing people for you. It's a pretty good class, actually. I, I love it. And, on its last life, if you're at one life, it gets a special bonus, which is just awesome. You get speed 1 for your entire life. And, I believe it's sharpness 5? Five, 5 or 6? No, it's 5. On your weapon. So... That is just pretty awesome. And you also get um, a redstone called Bloodlust, which summons a grown wolf behind your enemies instead of uh, regular. So look, there. I have my wolves now, and if I had used it on my last life, I would have had a wolf behind each of my enemies. And that can be better because you can get three wolves if all of your um, enemies are alive. But it can also be a little bit weird to not have your wolves right next to you as you spawn them. Oh, the knockback. This Enderman is just camping right now, so I'm just gonna try to take the, um, zombie and the spider out. Was the Enderman killed by the zombie? Yeah. I just saw the death message on the corner of my eye, I didn't see whose name it was. The zombie must be low, he's not fighting back. He's just running all the time. Oh, I got the nice angle on him. But knockback one is just not enough for that. It is, however, enough for that, which is just kind of funny. Alright, so the spider still had five lives. He picked up a bump. Okay, nice. I avoided that. And I got him. I got him. The Enderman's gonna try to come in for a sweep. Little does he know that I'm still at full hearts. Oh, uh, that zombie's coming back, though. The zombie and the spider are, um, fighting a little bit aggro on me. The Enderman is just fighting very... camping. This, I guess. He's fighting like an enderman, what can I say? My wolves haven't been doing much, but I also can't really tell because I'm too busy fighting. I think I got the zombie, no? Yeah, I did. Spider's right behind me. Got the spider, that's nice. Uh, the enderman is just derping around. The zombie doesn't seem to be um, uh, too much to worry about. I've taken down like twice, three times now. Oh, three times, three times. And the spider is also at three lives. Wait, is the zombie at one life? Oh, I thought he was at like three lives still. Oh dang. I should give him a break, but he also has like one of the strongest weapons in this game. And I don't mean like in this entire super crafters game, I mean in this particular match he has the best weapon. So he's a bit of a threat. But right now I'm at such low health. So I need to just kind of not get hit here. I'm just gonna fight a bit. Uh, differently to try to avoid him. The Enderman is not going to attack him really, but he still might be a threat. Oh, whose blaze is that? I don't know, it's not mine though. So it's still something to worry about. That wasn't my witch, I should not have hit my witch. Oh, he didn't make that jump, neither did I, but you know. There we go, he's up, he's up. The spider's trying to come in for a uh, cleanup. Whew. I think I've got this match in the bag. I want to see if I can get a double flawless in this episode. Oh, I got slowness! My witch slowness me! No! What is this? Slowness for not me? I should just kill this Enderman before he, um, you know, starts camping too, too much, but he doesn't seem like he's been camping very well this game, so that's a little something to debate about. Yep, I killed the spider. He just, he could have avoided that, uh, but he just jumps too late, so that always sucks. The 
this Enderman is just freezing, so no wonder he's been dying. Come on. No, poison. I'm gonna let my wolves do a little bit of work here. No, I'm almost dead. Alright, so let's see if I can just clutch this flawless. I'm gonna just avoid him for a little bit. Is he trying to kill himself? I don't know, but... He's lagging a little bit, that's... I don't usually like to lag kill people, but... I could tell that he was just gonna be a problem if I didn't. Alright, so that was two flawlesses. GG, guys. And that has been, like, 20 minutes, not even, like, 15 minutes this episode, so... Let's see if we can get this last, ma last match <laughs> done quickly. I want to join Icefall, but this guy is in the way. Alright, so... You've probably already seen whatever thing I've put there explaining why I didn't upload the match right after this, but there was just so many people camping. It was just insane. I did not want to, you know, deal with any of that, so... Uh... I'm straight glitching. I'd left the server for like one second. Ugh, I actually moved to server three, so I need to find an iron sword or a hammer or something to negate the strength glitch. Because if you're holding a weapon with attack damage, it'll negate it, so until then, I'm just gonna not fight. Sounds like a plan to me. Alright, uh, let's see. I saw an item land over here. No, please don't attack me. I will attack you if you attack me. Alright, so this is just going to be an annoying match, I guess, but, yeah. How much does my fist do? My fist does 9 damage, what the heck? Alright, so I'm just not going to want to fight until I pick up a hammer or something. That'll negate the strength glitch, but... This is also going to take a little bit long, I guess, so... I apologize for the long episode. I'm just going to fight using whatever I can to attack besides my actual attacks. Alright. Uh, I guess knockback kills would be fair, but not uh, kills with sharpness. I'm just going to spawn that there. Oh, nice. Did that blow somebody up? I think it did. Anyway, I need to get something, anything, something, anything, anybody scream. Uh, what song is that from? I don't know. Uh, okay, there's an item spawned right there. Hopefully it's a iron sword or a diamond sword. Poison to plate, that's what it is. Alright, maybe if I just shift here, they won't find me. Okay, it was a slime egg. Alright, so I just need that item to negate my strength glitch, because I don't want to fight with it. So, yeah. I also want this flawless, but I'm not sure if that will happen. Hmm. I've just had pretty bad luck with all the lag. Not, I said lag because he's lagging. Uh, with all the campers, it's just, I don't... Oh my god, it's just so in crazy insane. Ghost killing. I think he means lag killing. That's different terminology, which is kind of interesting, but, you know. Who's that? That's the Sunday. I was ju just gonna answer that guy. Um, anyway, I need to find something to negate my strength glitch, or... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I can get kills with knockback. I think that'd be fair, but if I try to get, like, an actual kill like this, it just wouldn't be fair. The ice was in there. That, how crazy was that? Alright, so I think my fist does also uh, 3 arts of damage or so, so I don't want to fight with that. I just need to find something to negate this glitch, and then I'll be fine. Dang, that guy's lagging, he wasn't joking. I've just been running around for so long, this is going to be so annoying to watch, but I... Sorry, I might actually just not record this one. I survived! Is he gonna come in after me? Okay. He's gonna ice ray me. Yep, if he's smart. There we go. But I knew that was coming, so I could avoid that. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright. I love when you just jump in after somebody and then they just. Oh, no, he better not. Did he just. Okay. You saw that. I didn't hit anybody there. I killed two people without hitting any anybody. Wow. Alright. It's just crazy. This game is just the weirdest game. Wow. I need to find a hammer so I can actually fight. Not a hammer, poison to blade works too, I guess. I'm actually gonna get stuck in the necromancer's trap and see if his zombie thing will remove my strength glitch after um, that, so that's gonna be interesting to see. But yeah, I don't wanna fight him. I'm gonna just punch him once with my fist to see how much damage it does. 
8 damage is still too much. I can't fight him like that, that'd be unfair. Uh, I need to negate the strength glitch. So if you ever need to negate the strength glitch, um, if you play a class with a sword, or something like that, it will uh, negate the effect, or move it, or I'm not exactly sure, but it will get rid of the effect, so uh, if you're strength glitching, you should just do that. Or even in the lobby, you just hold down the hammer that you use to duel, if you're a uh, VIP or above, so yeah. Hey man, what are you doing? What you doing? No! There we go. Back in the game. Okay, that took long enough, but I finally removed this. Oh, I thought he was announcing that he was going out here. I'm not walking into that, I know better. He's gonna try to get me into that, so... Ah! He can't stay in that forever, so... This is like that game where, like, when you are little, when you just ran around the table or whatever. I don't know if that's actually, like, legitimately a game. Legitimately! Jesus, I can't talk right now, I just played for, like, so many matches straight. All because there were some campers in fall, and I couldn't get a good recording of that, so... While he's busy with this... There we go. I'm on fire, that's what it was. Alright, so he's gonna probably spawn that in there. My spider's attacking him, that's nice. You know what? I can't go in there. If I avoid that, that'll just be awesome though, so... You know what, actually, yeah. I thought I avoided that, but I guess I did not. And I get my pumpkin head back, because... Afterwards, the zombie gives you all your effects. And it's chasing me, it's still chasing me. You get strength one while you do this, so I think I can kill him here. Oh, is he lagging or what? No, he fell there. That was kind of weird. He should have done something. Why did he just stay there? Anyway, that was the strangest match, but... Like, literally, the strangest match ever. What happened there? But I got the triple sauce that I wanted, so... That was very weird. So, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed this weird episode kind of thing. And I'm sorry that this probably wasn't the best. It was very long. Uh, it's probably going to come out to just under half an hour, I guess, so, yeah. I'm sorry that that is going to be very long, but, you know, hopefully the quality outweighs it, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, if you've actually watched this whole thing. I doubt anybody will, though, but, uh, yeah. And once again, thank you all very much. Without your support, I never would have been able to get this rank that I have right now. And it just, it really does just mean the world to me. So, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Oh, that reminds me. Before I go... I actually just want to say that something I've been working on for a long time has finally been done. So I plan on uploading it really soon. I don't know when, possibly this weekend. So yeah, look forward to that because this episode was kind of meh, but I got three flawlesses, so it actually was, I'd say it's a good episode, but anyway, I've been working on something for a long time and it's finally finished. I have it ready to upload, I just need a good time to upload it, so yeah. So expect to see that very soon. And once again, thank you very much for watching.